In the Animal Drawing Book for Kids, the newest book in our best-selling series, we've included a shading tutorial to simplify the drawing experience and bring your young artist's visions to life. For step one, let's complete our line work. Here I'm following the book's step-by-step -step instructions to draw this cute hamster, and now I'm going to go over the lines in Sharpie just to make it a little easier to see. That done, let's talk about shading. I'm grabbing a graphite pencil to shade with. You can use any pencil you have, including mechanical pencils. They'll work just fine. For step two, I've decided my shading method. Hatching and cross-hatching are both great ways to capture the texture of fur, and you'll find detailed explanations of them in our book. Step three is to establish where I want my shading, and I'll put it by the sides of the hamster and under its chin to make it look a little more 3D. This can mimic the natural way that light hits an object from straight on, giving its undersides believable shadows. You can see how it starts popping off the page. In step four, we lightly bring texture all around the animal and shade in areas that still need it, like our little guy's hands and feet. Leaving paper white blank areas in the middle without any shading to be the brightest highlights on our animal, let's hit step five to darken your darks. To decide where to put those darkest darks, remember to imagine that you've got a bright light shining. Now add those dark shadows. Press harder in the areas that already have some texture and around the edges, layering it in. Just be careful not to overdo it. Now we've got some nice gradients of shading from white to dark. Step six is simple. Are there any missing details you still want to add? I've noticed that our hamster's ears could use a little bit of shading, and I'm going to put in those last finishing touches. Stay tuned for another animal. We're going to tackle a llama next. Now that you know the basic six steps, let's skip right past the line work. Llamas have very shaggy fur, so I'm going to follow these triangular shapes from the line work, leaving little highlights between shaded areas. This helps to capture the texture of the fur by replicating the way light catches on it. It's a neat trick and you can do it too. I'm bringing this texture through the whole section and then making sure I've got my shading at the edges of the animal for a nice 3D effect. Now that I have most of my shading in place, I'm going to darken my darks on spots that already have midtones. Darkening the shaggy fur under the llama's belly really helps to make the animal look like it has a natural weight to it. I'll darken the hooves and legs, and then bring those darker tones into the middle of the animal, placing them sparingly so that we have our darkest darks, our midtones, and the highlights of the paper shaning through. For finishing touches, I shade around the face and a little inside the ears. Thanks for staying tuned. You can find both of these animals and 363 more in the Animal Drawing Book for Kids, which is now live on Amazon. We'll put a link in the description. See you soon for more drawing fun.